The key to the popsicle chain reaction comes from potential and kinetic energy. As you weave the popsicle sticks together, you are continually building potential energy. Each popsicle stick is bent over the stick before it and pinned under the stick before that, creating tension in the wood. When you finally have the chain length that you want, you let it go and all the tension and potential energy is released in the chain reaction of kinetic energy. It was found that the marble rolling down from the height of one book has the least momentum. Stacking two books or using the large marble increased the momentum by an almost equal amount. From the definition of momentum, it becomes obvious that an object has a large momentum if both its mass and its velocity are large. Both variables are of equal importance in determining the momentum of an object.
The key to the Newton's bottle trick is inertia. Inertia is described in Newton's first law of motion. Inertia is the tendency for an object at rest to remain at rest until an outside force acts upon it. Inertia is important in the Newton's bottle trick because, according to the law, the bottles will not move unless an outside force moves them. Aside from inertia, friction also plays a factor. Thankfully, the surface of the money bill is smooth and doesn't create a lot of friction against the bottle. Without a friction, the money bill will not pull the bottle off of their balance post. The secret to this science stunt lies in the understanding of the concept of center of gravity. The center of gravity of an object is the point about which you can balance the object as if all the masses were concentrated or gathered at this point. In other words, it's the point at which the object balances from left to right, front and back, top and bottom. In the balancing fork act, the center of gravity is directly below the spot where the toothpick rests on the rim of the glass. If you look closely at your balancing fork, you'll notice that the fork handles are positioned below the toothpick. This actually puts the center of gravity directly below the point where the toothpick is balanced, which is called the pivot point. We all know that oil and water do not mix. The molecules of water do not like to mix with the molecules of oil. Even if you try to shake up a bottle with half oil and half water, 
The oil breaks up into small little drops, but the oil doesn't mix with water. Food coloring only mixes with water. It does not color the oil. When you pour the water into the bottle with the oil, the water sinks to the bottom and the oil floats to the top. This is the same as when oil from, sh from ship spills in the ocean. The oil floats on top of the water. Oil floats on the surface because water is heavier than oil. Scientists say that the water is denser than the oil. And this is why the oil won't drop into the other container. Thank you.